So fifth one here, the point to which the origin is shifted and transformed equation. The shifted origin is given and transformed equation is given. Means transformed means x dash whole square plus y dash whole square is equal to 4. He given. So are given below. Find the original equation he asking us to find. So original equation how to be find? So x dash is equal to how much we can write it as? x minus h no? So x minus h and y dash is equal to y minus k. So we have to put these values into the uh, this um, transformed equation. This is the transformed equation. Then we get the we get the old original equation. So in this uh, x dash means uh, h comma k is he given. H, h is how much? 3. k is equal to minus 4. We put the values in this one. x dash is equal to x minus uh, h means how much? 3 y dash is equal to y minus k means how much minus 4 means plus 4 it will become how now it will become plus 4 so we need to find the original equation this one in this put we have to put the x dash and y dash so here x dash whole square plus y dash whole square is equal to 4 now in this x minus 3 whole square plus y dash means how much y plus 4 whole square is equal to 4 here. So x minus 3 whole square is equal to x square minus 6x plus 6. Here y square plus 8x, 8y, sorry, 8y minus, uh, sorry, plus 4 square means how much? 16 is equal to 4 here. Sorry, here this is 9 because 3 square, no? Okay. So here uh, x square plus y square minus 6x plus 8y so it will become it will come inside and it will become 12 and 12 plus 9 plus 21 is equal to 0 this is a old one so old equation okay so in this uh, bit another question is there second one we'll do that one now second question solution here so here h is equal to minus 1 and k is equal to 2 here so we need to find a what is we need to find x dash is equal to x dash is equal to x x plus x minus h and y is equal, y dash is equal to y minus k so in this we have to find uh, put the values means here uh, x dash is equal to how much we get uh, x minus minus means already minus is there minus into minus plus one okay and y dash is equal to y minus k minus k means two uh, so these are the x dash and y dash so we have to put in this one so x dash whole square plus 2 y dash whole square plus 16 is equal to 0 in this we have to put the values so here x dash uh, means how much x plus 1 whole square plus y dash 2 into y dash means how much y minus 2 whole square plus 16 is equal to 0 here so it is x square plus 2x plus 2 so it will become 2 into y square minus 4x plus 4 plus 16 is equal to 0 so x square plus 2x plus 2 2 into y square plus 2 y square 2 4 j 8 minus 8x plus 2 4 j 8 plus 16 is equal to 0 here so this x square plus 2 y square will become here and 2x minus uh, sorry this one 8 4 y okay so this is become uh, 8 y uh, 2 y square uh, 2 y square minus after that plus 2 x minus 8 y uh, 2 plus 8 is 10 10 plus 16 is 26 26 is equal to 0 here so this one is a uh, what this one is a old uh, equation old equation uh, original equation okay original equation or old equation so these are the two questions so this one first one here and this is sixth one, second one here. So fifth one, first one question, second one question completed. Now we go to the sixth bit, sixth question. Here sixth one solution is, first we read the question. Find the point to which the origin is to be shifted so that the, so to remove the first degree of the terms from the equation. So this is ax square uh, like this, ax square plus by square. Um, uh, how can we say that uh, 2gx plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 like this equation in this he is saying that shifted to to remove the first degree of terms in the from the equation means the formula is comes like here uh, minus g by a 
comma minus f by b the formula will become like this from this a is equal to how much 4 and uh, b is equal to 9 here g is equal to this is 9 not g this is uh, 9 so g is equal to how much uh, minus 4 and uh, here f is equal to 36 to 18 18 here okay so we put the values in this one so minus g means minus already is there minus into minus plus 4 by uh, a means how much 4 and uh, minus f minus f means minus 18 divided by b means 9 so 9 1 ja 9 2 ja so 4 1 ja 4 1 ja is equal to how much will get 1 comma minus 2 is the answer here here seventh question when the axes are rotated through the angle 30 degrees angle 30 degrees the axis are rotated find the new coordinates of the following points here given some points so these are the two points that given when the axis are rotated through the angle of 30 degrees find the new coordinates he asking us to find the new coordinates means x dash and y dash this is the old coordinates x comma y this is x comma y so we need to find the new coordinates x dash comma y dash so formula what is the formula with the given angle x dash is equal to find the first this solution we find x dash is equal to uh, what is the formula x into cos theta plus y into sin theta so this is the formula and y dash is equal to uh, what is the y dash formula minus x sin theta plus y cos theta so this is the two formulas we have to put the values in this one x comma y will get the answer here so x dash is equal to x cos theta plus y sin theta no so in this x dash is equal to x means how much 0 into cos theta cos theta means 30 degrees cos 30 plus y into means 5 5 into sin 30 and uh, y dash is equal to uh, so first we do the solution this one this will become 0 and 5 into uh, sin 30 1 by 2 so 5 by 2 this is 5 by 2 and this one y dash is equal to minus 0 into sin 30 plus here y into so y means how much 5 so 5 into cos theta means cos 30 cos 30 so it will become 0 plus 5 into sin cos 30 root 3 by 2 so it will become 5 root 3 by 2 so new origin is x dash comma y dash is equal to uh, 5 by 2 comma root 3 by 2 5 root 3 by 2 so this is the answer here now second one here solution so we apply same formulas here x dash is equal to minus 2 into cos 30 plus 4 into um, sin 30 here y dash is equal to minus sorry this is minus 2 here and minus uh, 2 means plus 2 it will become plus sin theta sin 30 plus y cos theta means cos 30 cos 30 so y is equal to 4 here so it will become x dash is become uh, cos 30 is equal to how much cos 30 root 3 by 2 minus 2 root 3 by 2 this is into plus 4 into uh, like sin 30 1 by 2 so it will become root 2 will become cancel minus root 3 plus 4 this is sorry plus 4 not plus 4 2 1 ja 2 2 ja it will become 2 here so y dash is equal to 2 sin uh, 2 into sin 30 1 by 2 plus 4 into cos 30 uh, cos 30 root 3 by 2 2 1 ja 2 2 ja 2 1 ja 2 1 ja get cancel y is equal to uh, how much will get 1 plus root 3 or root 3 plus 1 we can say that y dash is equal to 1 plus 2 root 3 so first one how much we get x dash is equal to minus root 3 plus uh, 2 this x dash y dash we think that it will become uh, 1 plus 2 root 3 so this is a new coordinate now third one x is equal to 0 he given and y is equal to also he given 0 so in this uh, x dash is equal to x into uh, what we can write it as x cos theta plus and y sin theta and next one y dash is equal to 
y sorry minus x sin theta plus y cos theta so here we submit the values 0 into cos theta cos theta means 30 here theta is equal to 30 given angle so here 0 into sin theta sin 30 so here everything 0 it will become everything 0 like same here also uh, 0 into something sin 30 it will become 0 and 0 into 30 sin cos 30 it will become also 0 so means x dash also equal to 0 and y dash also it will become 0 so means x dash comma y dash is a new origin also 0 comma 0 here so in my perspective like we, we can do like this uh, in any colleges uh, they will change different types of different type yeah, they can do so uh, how you do any 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 number of ways you will get the answer of 0 1 0 comma 0 only now eighth one solution when the axis are rotated through the angle of 60 degrees the new coordinates of the three points are following like this so three points first one second one next one we do in the other slide <coughs> First, these two, three, uh, three comma four, one and minus seven comma two are two points is given here. He asking us to find the original coordinates, original coordinates. Okay, so here he given x dash y dash. We think that okay. So original coordinates means x comma y no. So we need to find x comma y. So x is equal to formula in the when given the theta. So x is equal to x dash x dash cos theta x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta so here x is equal to and y is equal to uh, y is equal to how can we write it as x dash sin theta x dash sin theta plus uh, y dash cos theta so in this we have to put the values so x is equal to x dash means 3 3 cos 60 minus y is equal to 4 sin 60 theta is equal to here 60 degrees angle so this is theta 60 degrees so in this x is equal to 3 into cos 60 is equal to how much 1 by 2 minus 4 into sin 60 root 3 by 2 sorry 2 2 1 uh, we 2 like we put like this only uh, 3 by 2 here minus 4 root 3 by 2 so 2 will get lcm 3 minus 4 root 3 is the answer here and next one x dash x dash means how much uh, 3 into sin sin 60 sin 60 plus y dash means how much 4 into cos 60 cos 60 here 3 into sin 60 means how much root 3 by 2 plus 4 into cos 60 1 by 2 here so it will become 3 root 3 by 2 plus 4 by 2 it will become uh, 3 root 3 plus 3 root 3 this one 4 by 2 this is a new uh, old coordinate what is the old coordinate x comma y is equal to uh, 3 comma minus 4 uh, sorry 3 minus 4 th root 3 by 2 comma 3 root 3 plus 4 by 2 this is a old coordinate so second one here uh, same formulas this only so x is equal to x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta y is equal to x dash uh, x dash plus sorry x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta so in this we put the values so x is equal to uh, x dash means y dash this one so minus 7 into cos of 60 minus y dash means 2 2 sin 60 here it will become sorry it will become x is equal to so 7 minus 7 into cos 60 cos 60 how much 1 by 2 minus 2 sin 60 root 3 by 2 so it will become yeah, how much is 1 minus 7 by 2 minus 2 root 3 by 2 it will become <coughs> 2 7 minus root 7 minus 2 root 3 divided by 2 so this is x is equal to and y is equal to be fine now so x dash means how much minus 7 sin 60 plus y dash means how much 2 cos 60 here minus 7 into sin 60 root 3 by 2 plus cos 60 1 by 2 2 into 1 by 2 so it will become 
माइनस सेवन रूट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई टू प्लस टू बाई टू सो इट विल बिकम टू एल सी एम माइनस सेवन रूट थ्री प्लस टू सो दिस इज वाई सो एक्स काम वाई एक्स काम वाई इज इक्वल टू दिस वन एंड दिस वन इज द आंसर हियर सो द न्यू सॉरी ओल्ड ऑरिजिन ओके हियर थर्ड क्वेश्चन द न्यू कॉर्डिनेट्स टू काम जीरो हियर सो एक्स डैश काम वाई डैश वी नो ऑलरेडी सो हियर x is equal to x dash cos theta minus y dash sin theta y is equal to uh, x dash x dash sin theta sorry x dash sin theta plus y dash cos theta so in this we put the values x uh, x dash is how much here two two into cos sixty minus y dash means how much zero so 0 into sin 60 it will it will become it will become 0 and 2 into cos 60 how much uh, cos 60 1 by 2 so it will become 1 so 2 1 ja 2 1 will get cancelled and it will become so y is uh, this is x is equal to this is y is equal to now x dash means how much 2 into sin uh, 60 here sin 60 here sin 60 is equal to how much root 3 by 2 So it will become two into root three by two. Two one ja two will not get cancelled. So x comma y is equal to how much will get one comma root three. So this is a third one solution. One comma three. Now ninth question is find the angle through which axes are to be rotated so as to remove the x y term. So here x y term we have to remove x y term in the equation x square plus four x y plus y square. Minus two x plus two y minus six is equal to zero. In this, he is saying that angle through which axes are to be rotated, axes are to be rotated. So as to remove that term x y in the equation, this is the solution. How do we do this solution? Means uh, here theta is equal to angle. So some angle is given there, na. So some theta is equal to formula. So what is the formula here? Theta is equal to one by two into tan inverse of tan inverse of 2h by a minus b here. This is the formula we have to use to find this solution of this uh, question. So in this formula, there is h, a, and b. We have to find the values. So compare this equation with the a x square plus 2h x y plus b y square plus 2g x plus 2f y plus c is equal to zero. In this a is equal to one here. A is equal to one. In this h is equal to two because two into two here. Two h two to the four x y. So plus b is equal to here one. Okay. In this uh, g is equal to two g x no. All two is there. G means one minus one plus two f y means sorry f is equal to plus one here. So c is equal to Six minus six here. C is equal to this minus six. Here in this, uh, f is equal to one. So we got the all the like uh, a is equal to b is equal to already we got this. So theta is equal to one by two into tan inverse of two uh, h by a minus b. In this formula we submit one by two into tan inverse of two into h means how much? G uh, two two divided by a minus b a how much one. Okay, one minus one. Uh, it will become one by two into tan inverse of two to the four. Four divided by zero. So four divided by means zero means it will become infinity. So one by two into tan inverse of infinity. Okay. So here one by two tan inverse of infinity we can write it as tan pi by four. Okay, tan pi by four. Tan pi by four means ninety. So tan inverse tan will get cancelled, and it will become one by two into pi by four. Sorry, pi by two. Ah, one eighty. One eighty means pi by two. We can take it as pi by two. Sorry, pi by two. So pi by two. It will become pi by four is the answer. So he asking us to find the angle theta is equal to how much? Pi by how much? Pi by four here. So this is the solution of ninth one. 
uh, with this first bit we completed and we go for the second bit in the second bit there are five problems are there we'll do as uh, early 